Now, this is Play Mania. It's a place where you can win a lot of cash from the comfort of your own home. But to do so, you're going to need a cell phone, your landline, or a computer, whatever you want. There's three easy ways to get involved, but let's waste no more time and bring up that very first game, and I'll tell you how to get involved. Here it is. It's a name the actress, and it's two words. It's an anagram. So what we've done is we've taken up the name of the actress, and we've scrambled up all the letters. We've put them back in an order that they do not belong. Now it's up to you to put it back in the correct order. Get through to me and tell me which actress this is, and $150 could be yours tonight. It is that easy. Now, there are three ways to get involved. Right down here in the black box, if you pay attention, those are the three ways. You can either just grab your cell phone and text us. That's probably the easiest way. You text the word PLAY, P-L-A-Y, to the number 77177. That text is only going to cost you 99 cents, but you have a shot at winning $150. You can also go online to www.gsn.com slash playmania, uh, where you can also view all the rules and regulations there. One, for example, you have to be 18 or older in order to play. The third way, and the newest way, is by just grabbing your old landline, the phone that you have next to you plugged into the wall, and calling 1-900-773-3333. Now, you do have 10 times for your cell phone and 10 times for your landline, though. So you actually have 20 chances to enter, but the key is you have to play strategically. If you really want to play any particular game, rather than just entering once or twice, enter maybe three or four times, because that's obviously going to increase your odds of getting through. So you have to ask yourself, do I really know this answer, or do I really want that money? If the answer is yes to either of those, then get involved right now. Now, we have first-time Play Maniacs coming through all the time taking home cash. So if you have never played or never gotten through, let tonight be that night, because it's been a while since I've been here. Maybe I'll be your good luck charm to help facilitate that money, bring it your way. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, actually, to start this game off fun. Now, it's worth $150, but do you guys want some more money? Yes! Tell you what I'm going to do, then. If you come through and you know this answer, only if you know that answer, I'll give you that $150, but then, if you can tell me what's so special about this actress, just today, what's so special about this actress today, drum roll please, I'll give you an extra $50. That'll make it $200. Uh, if you get through, get this answer and know what's so special about this actress just today. What's so special about her today? Now, also, of course, we're having fun with emails again. We want to know any kind of rumors that you got going on with celebrities. For example, I don't know if you guys caught it, but Britney Spears 
is now looking a little bit like Sinead O'Connor. She has shaved her head. Britney Spears, the pop star we all knew and loved at one point, and then kind of fell away. She shaved her head. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but she has no hair now. I'm hoping she donated to Locks of Love, but we don't know if she did anything congenial for that. Um, but now that's actually, that's not a rumor. That's true. But we want to know what kind of rumors do you guys have about celebrities that are going on? Email those in to shandy at gsn.com. We'll talk about them. We'll gossip a little bit. Don't know if they're all true or not, but email those in, shandy at gsn.com. And now we have our first play maniac for tonight. It's Michelle. Let's bring her straight through. Hi, Michelle. Hi. How are you tonight? Good. Where are you calling from? Maine. From Maine. Well, welcome to the show. You're our first play maniac. Now, do you think you know this actress? Renee Russo. Is it Renee Russo? It is. Congratulations, $150. But now, Michelle, your chance at winning 50 more. If you can tell me what's so special about her today. Her birthday. Is that it? Yes, it is. Another $50 coming your way. Total of $200. So happy birthday to Renee Russo. And stay on the line, Michelle, while we get your information. Okay, that's how easy it is to win some cash. You saw it. Michelle came right through, took that cash, and is now going to sleep comfortably tonight, knowing she's got $200 extra dollars in her pocket. So if you want to play the next game coming up, then you've got to get involved again, because at the end of each game, we take our entries that we've received and we toss them all out, and we start completely new, completely fresh, with each new game. Now, I think, I'm not going to say this for sure, but I would think if you really want to get through the best time to enter, is probably at the beginning of each game. Because that's when nobody's there. So you guys ready? Yeah. Let's have a look. What game we got? It's ad slogans. So now start entering. Right now start entering again. If you entered for the last game, put another entry out there. Ad slogans. Now what we have are three different ad slogans. You have to tell me what they're advertising. What product? All right? Now you tell me if you want one, two, or three. Tell me what product that slogan comes from. And $200 will be yours tonight if it's correct. So, let's take a look. We've got My Life, My Card, Easy, Breezy, Beautiful, and Eat Fresh. Ooh, I know these two. I'm not so sure on that first one, though. But by the way, tonight we have got Mike and, oh, I'm sorry, Mike and Scott on camera. So hello to Mike and Scott. Love to have you guys here with us. We didn't get an applause, though. I guess Spencer doesn't want to applaud you guys. <laughs> Maybe he's themed in a little jealousy of you guys. Oh, is that it? Okay, Mike knows number one. Oh, you are so right. I knew it was one of them. I just couldn't pick, remember which one. So what you have to do, once you get through to me, I'm going to ask you if you want number one, two, or three. You tell me which one you want. You tell me what product that ad slogan is, is kind of representing. And then you win yourself $200 cash. So, my life, my card... Easy, breezy, beautiful, and eat fresh. What do you guys think that is? This money could be yours tonight, $200. But like I said, play strategically. If you're going to be going to bed in 30 minutes, then use up those entries right now. And use up all of them. We give you only a certain amount of entries so that everyone can play fairly. Everyone only has that amount of entries. So if somebody can't enter a ridiculous amount and make sure they get through, everyone only has the same amount. So play strategically. On a particular game that you really want to get on, enter more than once. We have our first email and his rumors. All right, let's take a look. Oh, there's a cow. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Everything is kind of changed in here, so the camera seems like it's further away. All right, Jeff from Belleville, Michigan. Hi, Shandy. Have you heard the latest rumor about Elvis? He's actually alive and well and hiding out in the hallway between room ah, 7 and 8, Florida. You know... I could believe he's alive, yes, but room seven, it seemed a little crowded in there. I know Elvis likes to have his space. However, you are saying he's in the hallway, so I think he'd have the penthouse, though, personally. But hello to everyone in room seven, and I guess you guys have a roommate now. What's this? So thanks for the email. Keep them coming, shandy at gsn.com. Any kind of rumors you got? Now, I have to say, today I was actually, I was sitting in Taco Bell, eating my Nacho Supreme, and I heard on the radio, and they were playing, it was abnormally loud in Taco Bell. And they're saying, like, Brittany shaved her head. And I'm like, this is a hoax. This isn't real. So I emailed, or I texted a friend. It's like, you can text play. 
And I said, is this true? Like, is this, this is real? And they sent me a photo of her, wow. all Sinead O'Connor looking. Crazy. Oh, and those poor kids that are in a sad situation. But we have somebody on the line ready to win this money. It's Matt. Let's bring him straight through. Hi, Matt. Matt? Max? Max? No! Did we lose you? Time's out. He loves. All right. Well, good news for everyone else. When somebody hangs up, it's good news for everyone else because that means this amount is still there. They're still ready to be won, and we have got someone else ready to claim it. It's Daisy. Let's bring her straight through. Hi, Daisy. Hi. How are you tonight? Pretty good. How about you? Doing well, thank you. Where are you calling from tonight, Daisy? Uh, Michigan. Michigan. Well, welcome to the show. Now, would you like number one, two, or three? How about three? Number three, eat fresh. What Subway. ad? I'm sorry? Subway. Sub. Oh, I was thinking wrong. Is that it? That is it. Congratulations. $200 is yours, Daisy. Stay on the line for us. I was thinking it was Baja Eat Fresh. Because isn't it like Baja Fresh or something? Oh, well, good thing for you, Daisy, that you got right and you took home that $200. Now we have two more ad slogans up here. We've got My Life. My card and easy, breezy, beautiful. Now, this one is super easy. Well, super easy to me because I'm a woman, and I guess we use that kind of stuff. I don't know what that is. You don't know number two? Are you serious? I guess because you're a man. I bet those ladies out there, Mike doesn't know number two, but I'm thinking the men probably don't. The men will probably know number one. The ladies will probably know number two. But right now, let's find out because we got Jim on the line. Let's see which one he wants. Hi, Jim. Hello. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. Where are you calling from, Jim? I'm calling from Gaylord, Michigan. Oh, another Michigan man. Michi what would you call somebody from Michigan? What's that? What do you call somebody from Michigan? Michigan. Michigan. Oh, a Michigan? Oh, I thought a Michiganian. Michiganian, yeah. All right. Now, Jim, would you like number one or two? Uh, number two. Number two. Oh, you know Easy Breezy Beautiful? What is it? I, I do believe it's Cover Girl. I think it is. Is it easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl? You don't know that, Mike? Good Lord. $200 is yours. Stay on the line for us while I get your information. Mike's like, how does he know? Remember, easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. I know that. Everyone knows that. Now, we have one left. One answer left for $200. But I don't think $200 is enough to entice you guys to call in. Is it? No. So you, what do you, you want more money? Yes. Oh, alrighty then. How about drum roll, please? For the next person who can get through to me, the very next person, so it's gonna be a race now. You're not gonna play for two hundred dollars. You're gonna be playing for three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars tonight on a Saturday night. Wait, it is Saturday, right? Or is it Friday? No, it's Saturday. It's Saturday night. $300, my life, my card. Now tell me what ad slogan this is from. Now you will increase your chances of getting through if you send more than one entry. If you send one or two out and it says, hey, great, you might be called, go ahead and send two or three more out. It'll increase your odds. We're going to take a little bit of a break, and when we come back, soon as we take a home, $300. See you in a second. What's the two play mania? We have only been on, you know what, we don't even have a clock in here anymore. Nope. Lordy, I don't even know what time it is. We've only been on, I would assume, for like 15 minutes or something like that. So we've got plenty of time, about an hour and 45 minutes maybe, left of cash and prizes. But we left you with a nice little bonus right here. I said that the next person who gets through to me, if you know this answer, my card, my life, what ad, this is an ad slogan, so I'm asking you, from what? Is the ad slogan from what? From what product is it talking about? We had Easy Breezy Beautiful Cover Girl, and we had Eat Fresh Subway. Which, you know, the guy who lost all the weight, Jerry, I think his name was. Wasn't it Jerry from Subway? Yeah, Jared. Jared, thank you. Oh, I feel like I'm on a personal one, Jerry. Uh, Jared, yeah, I don't like those new commercials with him. Have you seen them where you sit in with a guy, and they're like, eat fresh and taste good or something back and forth? Not good. Anyhow, that was my opinion. We got one answer left, and the next person to get right, $300 is theirs. 
But also emails. We're talking about different rumors. Uh, we heard from one, everyone out down in room seven. But if you have any sort of rumors going on, if you know of any celebrity rumors or if you want to start one, then now is the time. Send us in to Shandy at GSN.com. We'll have some fun and some gossip. We have Daisy on the line. Is it the same Daisy? I think we might have the same Daisy on the line. Let's check her out, bring her through, and see if she's the same one. Hi, is this Daisy again? Yes, it is. The same Daisy I just talked to? Yes. Well, good Lord, is nobody else playing tonight? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, you I've must be using trip. up all your texts. Are you getting really aggressive in this game? Yeah, I've been doing it for a while. You know, and that's truly the key, I think, is using a lot of text. Is that right? Yeah. That's got to be it. All right. Well, your chance to win $300 now, Daisy. So good luck to you, my life, my card. What ad do you think this is? American Express. Oh, my Lord, Daisy. I think you just added 300 more. You did. Oh, my goodness. Congratulations. $300 is yours right now. 500 total for you, Daisy. Awesome job. Stay on the line for us. Now, I have to say, Daisy has brought up a really good point. Okay, she's gotten on twice. Uh, I said, well, how did you do it? She's aggressive about it, she said. She's, I've been sitting here using up all these texts. So don't save them. Don't save them and go, well, I'll wait a little bit. Be aggressive. Don't be mad at Daisy. Be mad at yourself. Use up those entries, because you know you have a total of 10 entries to use. You have 10 on texting and 10 on calling in. So use those up while we bring on a new game. It is, oh, I love these. Name the phrase. So this is like a catchphrase. So what we've done is we've shown you some words, some uh, spacing, some sizes of the words, and we're trying to get you to say something because of this. Some popular phrase. All right. Ooh, this might be a little tough for me, but $150 could be yours if you know this. So what we've done, now pay attention. We've got the word pen, and we've got the word sword. Now pen is really big, sword is really little. Pen comes before sword sword comes after pen. I would try to kind of look at that, look at the arrangement, and try to figure out what we're trying to get you to say for $150. Now, I have to say, speaking to Daisy, Daisy's, well, the reason she's gotten on so much is because she sent out so many entries. That's what you have to do. And actually, speaking of, like, beating the game and learning how to get on and win some cash, I'll let you guys know that tomorrow, you have to check out the Insider's Guide to Game, or to, I'm sorry, the Insider's Guide to winning Game Show Millions special. Okay, so the Insider's Guide to Winning Game Show Millions special. It's on tomorrow night, Sunday, at 8 o'clock, right before we come on. And I'll be back on tomorrow night as well. So turn it on an hour before I come on. Check that out about how these people are able to kind of cheat the system and win the money. Like Daisy, for example. Now, you do have 10 texts. You do have 10 entries on your phone. Use up as many of those as you can on one particular game. I mean, if you use one for each game that we play, chances of getting through are so-so. If you use three or four for one game, you have a better Shandy, shot of getting you through. We've got an email to check out, so let's go look at some rumors while you get involved and send out those entries. All right, my camera looks like it's so far away. All right, we've got Bree from Idaho. Hey, Shandy, I have heard that Britney Spears is pregnant again. I have no clue whether that is true or not. I don't know what to believe. Say hi to the crew for me. Crew, Bree says hi. We all say they all say hello back. Uh, you know, I think I may have heard that too, actually. But you know what? You open them almost any gossip magazine. They're like, look, there's a lump. She might be pregnant. And the person's like, hello, I ate a Big Mac today. Of course, there's a lump. I could be. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I had Taco Bell today. I could be thinking I'm pregnant. Do we have any more emails? Oh, we got one more. Kristen from Austin, Texas. Hey, Shandy, I heard a rumor about Daniel Radcliffe from Harry Potter. Warner Brothers might fire him for doing a nude scene in his new play, but I don't believe it. Hmm. But you know what? He's getting kind of old now. He's like, got to be like 18 or something, and he's playing this young kid, so I don't know. There might be something going on there. Thanks to the emails. Mwah! Keep them coming. Shandy at GSN.com. Any kind of rumors that you have going on about the celebrities we know and love. But right now, name the phrase. Now, do you guys know this at all yet? No? This is a little difficult. We got pen and we have sword. Those are two words that we have. Pen is much bigger than sword. Sword follows 
Uh, sword follows pen. Sword is tiny. Try and think of, like, think of different things that we're trying to get you to say. As soon as you think that you know this answer, that's your time and your cue to then get involved. All right. For example, we got Christy on the line. Let's bring her straight through. Hi, Christy. Hi. How are you tonight? I'm good. How are you doing? Doing good. Where are you calling from? Louisiana. Louisiana. Well, welcome to the show. And $150 could be yours right now if you know this phrase. What do you think it is? The pen is mightier than the sword. Oh, my God, Christy. We don't even know this, and you got it. Is that it? Ah, the pen is mightier than the sword. I think that means... Congratulations to stand in line for us, Christy, while I get your information. Doesn't that mean, like, the pen, because you can write, and that... that Mike's looking to be like, eh. But it means that you can, uh, like, what is written has more power than, like, just fighting. Yeah. Right? Sort of. Sort of, yeah. Oh. oh, brains over brawn. That's what Jonathan said. Isn't Jonathan smart, guys? Yeah. Those pink tights that he wears. God. Must be something to do with that metrosexualness of him. All right. Now, a new game is going to pop up, which means if you want to play and you want to get involved, you want to win some cash, as soon as you see the picture, oh, here it is. Now is your time to get involved. Now, what we have, and these are fun. As a matter of fact, the last few times I've played this, they've gone pretty quick. So if you want to play Get Involved quickly, $200 is on the line. What we have is name the celebrity. Here, so here's a celebrity's photo that we've taken, and we've pixelized it. So we've kind of made it a little blurry. It's difficult to see, but it's up to you to try to figure out who she is. We can tell it's probably a woman. I think it's a woman. She has dark hair, dark features, light skin. Try to figure out who she is. Now, it helps if you squint your eyes really, really tightly. Squint your eyes down and kind of look at it. It begins to kind of take form then. Um, step away from your TV, way back from your TV. That kind of helps a little bit. But $200 could be yours right now if you happen to know this celebrity. She's brunette. Now, a good thing, make sure that you keep track of the wrong answers that you hear. Make sure, you know what else kind of helps? Is if you look at it, but you, you look like a foot away from your TV. Like, look at your TV, but look like a foot away and stare there and allow your peripheral vision, look at it. That actually helps, too. But, squint and shake your head. Oh, shaking works. That's good. Good call, Jonathan. Um, so go ahead and keep track of these wrong answers that you hear. Because we may have a couple different people come through and give us answers that are incorrect. Keep track of those so you don't repeat your wrong answer. And you can well check out some more rubas. You guys are bumping all into each other in here. It's like a war against the camera. Let's take a look at an email. Chet in Michigan. Chet, you've emailed in a few times. Hello. Hi, Shandy. I heard that page six tomorrow will feature a story that Paris Hilton and Lindsay Lohan have shaved their heads and gotten tattoos as well. Read tomorrow morning's paper, Chet in Michigan. Now, page six is in the New York Times, the New York Post, actually, I think. Um, but I don't think so. Paris Hilton, I think, is far too vain to shave her head. <laughs> don't you all think? I mean, granted, there are extensions that she wears anyway, but I don't know. But maybe we just start a little rumor. All right, one more. Brenda from West Virginia. I heard that Ashley Ocean Olsen was smoking. I saw a picture of her smoking on a magazine. But I'm not for sure if it's true or not. Uh, you know, I wouldn't necessarily put it past them. It might be, but I wouldn't necessarily put it past her smoking. Who knows? Could be. Thank you well, for the email. Keep them coming. Jimmy at gsn.com. All right. Name of the celebrity. And we have got our first person who wants to try this. It's Bonnie. Let's bring her straight through. Her eye is watering. Hi, Bonnie. Hi. How are you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. Where are you calling from this evening, Bonnie? Chicago. Chicago. Well, welcome to the show. Is it chilly there? It is. The, uh, my brother was just in Chicago. was telling me it was cold. $200 oh, is on the line. If you have a guess at what celebrity this is, who do you think? I'm not sure. Lara Flynn Boyle? Good guess. Let's take a look, Bonnie. Is it Lara Flynn Boyle? It's not. I'm sorry. That's a good guess, though, but it's not correct. So who else? We've heard one answer. It was incorrect. Who else do you think this could be? Do you guys have ideas? Ideas, anybody? No? No. I 
do, but I can't think of her name. I got a good idea, though. Blink real fast. No, blinking doesn't help me. <laughs> Don't blink really fast, because that doesn't help me one bit. Um, all right, well, while you're, while you're looking at this, remember that tomorrow you can uh, watch a show at 8 o'clock on GSN. It's called The Insider's Guide to Winning Game Show Millions. Uh, it's a really cool show, show where basically they get in depth on how people can kind of cheat the systems. Like, I don't remember that, that one, like, whammy, whammy, stop the whammy, that thing. I remember it's showing a guy where, oh, press your luck, yes. There was a guy who he knew once it blinked on one thing, he'd hit the buzzer, and it would blink like three more times and land on like the, the big cash. So check that out. That's at 8 o'clock tomorrow on GSN. So just basically turn GSN on an hour, but, well, it should be on all the time anyway. But it turned on an hour before I come on, so you'll watch that, and then I'll be here with you tomorrow. But right now, name the celebrity, and we've got Angela on the line. Let's bring her straight through. Hi, Angela. Hi. How are you tonight? Good. Where are you calling from? Wisconsin. Well, welcome to the show. Do you have a guess at the celebrity? Um, Fran Drescher. <gasps> Fran Drescher. Possibly. Is that her? That is it. Nah. That's an annoying Fran. But we have somebody waiting straight behind. It's Ryan. Let's bring Ryan straight through. Hi, Ryan. Hi. How are you? Doing all right. Where are you calling from? Tallahassee. Well, welcome to the show. $200 on the line for you. Who do you think this is? Alyssa Milano. Alyssa Milano. Good one, is it? It's not, though. I'm sorry. That was a good guess, though. Oh, so I was just wondering, my Playmania friends, do you want more money? Yes! Well, then you ask and you shall receive. How about for the next person who comes through... If you get this right, oh, you won't be winning 200, my friends. You will be winning double the money. $400 is what you'll be taking home right now. So if you want this money, now is the time. Now is the time to get involved. Now remember, take advice from Daisy. You got on twice tonight, on, on within like five minutes from each other. Text in more than once. Send out a bunch of entries. We actually are going to take a little bit of a break so you can send out those entries. When I come back, I will be playing for $400, giving that money away to the first person who can get through to me. So pick up those phone lines. Call 1-900-773-3333. Text in. Go online. Do everything you can to name this celebrity for $400. I'll see you right back. Now on $400 is on the line. If you happen to know this celebrity, $400 for the next person who comes through to me. Now, we've spoken to maybe three people or so. Haven't heard the correct answer yet. So the correct answer is still out there. Hopefully, you're keeping track of those incorrect answers. But take a look at what we can see so far. She seems to be brunette, very dark-haired, actually. Light features, uh, light skin. She's attractive. If you squinch your eyes really tight, it actually helps to see it a little bit. Step away from your TV if you can. Be back. Squid. Shake your head. Do what you need to because $400 could be yours if you know this answer. Now remember, more entries means better chances of getting through. Uh, there are three ways to enter. Now, also emails. We're talking about celebrity rumors. Any kind of rumors that you got going on, send those in to shandy at gsn.com. Now, it can either be a rumor that you really heard or heck, just make one up. Let's start rumors right now. Let's start them. So what kind of rumors would you like to start? Send them in to shandy at gsn.com. For example, my rumor, I've heard. I don't know if it's true or not, but I've heard. It's Scott wears pink lace panties. He goes, what? Isn't that right? No. Yes. It's a rumor. That's what I heard. You guys want to talk to Scott? Should we talk to Scott? Let's go to camera one. Can I go to camera one? Do you, want, do, you, do you want to come on over here, Scotty? Let's talk to Scott and see if there's rumor, if there's any truth to this rumor. So the rumor is... I deny it. <laughs> he says he denies it. But the rumor is, I've heard this, that, that you... you gotta, <laughs> yeah, you got to prove it. No. But the rumor is that you wear, like, pink lace women's panties. Deny it. Deny, deny it. it. All man. Really? Well, I heard, I heard something about a hamster, too. Oh, <laughs> 
I'm joking. Okay, so that's the kind of rumors I'm talking about. What kind of rumors do you got? Send them in to Shandy at GSN.com. We'll have a little bit of fun, some gossip. We have our Play Maniac who wants to play for $400 right now. It's in, or it's David. Let's bring David straight through. Hi, David. Hello. How are you? Fine. Where are you calling from, David? Litchfield, Kentucky. Kentucky. Are you having a good night tonight? Yeah. All right, now, David, you are playing for $400. So, before I get your answer, I'm going to have to get a woohoo out of you. Ooh. There, the good one, David. All right, now, good luck to you, and what is your answer? Jennifer Connolly. Ooh, is it Jennifer Connolly? start sending all those texts out right then because that's when we're going to give away a lot of cash. Uh, that's when you can have more ch better chance of getting through you send out more texts. Now a new game is going to pop up and if you want to play that game, well then my friends, that's when you start getting involved again. That's when you send out some more entries. So here it is. It is a category game. Now what we have are three categories. We have sourdough, uh, whole wheat, and rye. Mmm. I like sourdough and whole wheat, but I just like carbs in general. <laughs> so any kind of carbs come my way. Now, my question to you is, you see there's a, a red circle around each of our items. A circle around sourdough, a circle around rye, and a circle around whole wheat. Now, you have to, they're all linked together. What links them together? What is that that links these three together? If you know that category, which you should, well, then $150 is going to be yours right now. But this is all going to be about speed right now. You have got to be one of the very first people to get through to me as quickly as possible. And then you're going to take home all that money. So you know how to get involved. You know how to get involved. There's three ways. It's right down here in the little black box. So you know how to get involved. Now, just do it. Use those up. Use them up because once we're gone, you can't use those entries anyway. Take advantage of it because that money could be yours. Shandy, you got mail. You know, to check out. Come, let's check out some more nasty rumors and some more gossip. A woman doesn't love gossip. Let's take a look. Katie in Illinois. Hi, Shandy. Did you hear that Justin Timberlake was playing Monopoly and he landed on a property with a house on it? He had to pay $40, but he only had a $100 bill. So he said to the person he owed the money to, I'm getting 60 back. Ah, that's actually really cute. Kate, I love it. Very, very creative. And for those of you that are like, I don't get it. It's the song, I'm getting sexy back. Oh, lovely. Do we have any more? Kelsey from Pennsylvania. Shandy, Nicole Ritchie is in the hospital for anorexia. She is a shocking 69 pounds. Doctors are shocked what she has done with herself. I don't know if I believe that, because I think I just saw a picture the other day of her out shopping. So, maybe that's not true. Maybe it is. Who knows? But either way, thanks for the rumors. Mwah. Keep them coming. Shandy at GSN.com. Any kind of rumors that you either have, you're curious about, you've heard, or that you want to start. Any kind of rumors you got, Shandy at GSN.com. Email those in. But right now, we have $150 on the line for this category game. We have sourdough, whole wheat, and rye. It's for $150 if you know that category that links these three items together. It's one category for these three, and I think it's pretty obvious. Who doesn't love um, any kind of bread and butter? Yeah. Isn't that good? Some toast? I love some toast. Toast with a bunch of peanut butter on it? Yeah. Mm. Or bagels and cream cheese. Mm. Any kind of carbs. Can't get enough of them. But we have somebody waiting right now. It is Cindy. Let's bring Cindy straight through. Hi, Cindy. Hi. How are you? Good. Where are you calling from? Tennessee. Tennessee. Well, welcome to the show. Now, we have three categories up here. Do you have the category, or three items? Do you have the category that links them together? Bread. 
Is it bread? It is, of course, Cindy. $150 is yours. Congratulations. And stay on the line for us while we get your information. Okay, now that game is gone. We have enough time for plenty of more games, but you have to understand that at the end of each game, all those entries are tossed out, and we start completely fresh with a new game. Now, what we have here is a crossword. It's for $200. That's $50 a letter. What we need is this red word going down. As you can see, there's blue words going across, but there's a red word going down. Now, it could be a few different answers because, for example, let's take a look at this L word going across. This L word could be uh, late, L-A-T-E. It could be lays, L-A-Z-E. It could be a few different things. So that's why we have this envelope. We have an envelope with a particular four-letter word that we are looking for. So once you come through and you guess this and you hear that da 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 da, -da sound, I will show it to you to make sure that you know that we did have the correct answer and that $200 will be yours. <laughs> now what you have to do for this is go across and write down all the different options for the words. For example, this last word, it could be cat, it could be mat, it could be bat, it could be sat. Write down all the different options for all the words going across and then start putting together four-letter words. Now, while you're waiting to come through, listen to those wrong answers and start crossing them off your list. That way it narrows it down, narrows it down, narrows it down until you get to the four-letter word that'll give you $200 cash. So get involved, start sending in all those entries that you can. $200 could be yours. You gotta figure out the words going across. Now, once you have this four-letter word, it'll go down, but all these words going across will all make words of their own when you have that four-letter word. So give that some thought and start emailing them in, or start texting in, start calling in, start going online, whatever you can do to get involved right now. now. If you look into this little black box right here, it's got all the different options on how you can get involved, how you send those entries out, how you can play along and win that cash. It's right here is what we need. Hey, so we have got um, a new little cable guy in here. His name is House, we like to call him. I'll tell you why we call him House later, but come on down. Now, first of all, hi, turn around, look at the camera right here. Now, first of all, I heard a rumor that you wear a lipstick. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, uh, sometimes it wears off, you know? <laughs> you didn't do it. Ah! We're um, all joking, though, guys. But uh, you, you, do you have a rumor that you want to talk about? Yes, I heard uh, Tom Cruise is doing Top Gun 2. It's a rumor. Really? Yeah. Okay, he heard that Tom Cruise is doing Top Gun Part 2. Which, that's a great rumor, but I prefer the rumors, like, I think Tom Cruise is really an alien. No. You don't think so? No. You don't think Scientologists are all aliens? No. Yeah! I think they're aliens. And I think they worship aliens, and I think they're all going to wear Nikes they and drink Kool-Aid. They do look alike, though, yeah. Katie Holmes and Tom Cruise. <gasps> they do? Yeah. They look like brother and sister yeah, a little they bit. Do. Do, you think that, do you think Tom Cruise's baby is really Tom Cruise's baby? There's yeah, rumors yeah. that it's not, really. Yeah. Uh, there's rumors it's not. Did you know that? Well, they, it was born in the church, right? It was born in the church? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Baptized in the church. So many rumors around Tom Cruise. All right, thank you. Get out of my show now. All right. <laughs> now, four-letter word is what we need. Good rumors, though. Good rumors. Wow. Full of them. Tom Cruise has all kinds of rumors all around himself. But send in your rumors. If you have any kind of rumors that you that you maybe read in a, in a magazine, in some little gossip magazine, whether your friend told you, you saw it on TV, or something you just want to create, a rumor that you just want to make up, send them in to shandyatsn.com. And you know you never know. Maybe the rumor that you come up is so good that maybe it'll be in the gossip magazines next week. But now we are ready to play the crossword game, and we have got Mike on the, Mark on the line. Let's bring Mark straight through. Hi, Mark. Hi, Shandy. How, How are you doing tonight? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. All right, where are you calling from? I'm in New Jersey tonight. Well, welcome. Oh, tonight. Do you change locations every night? Well, I go during the day to New York. Oh, you're like Superman flying across. <laughs> All right. Mark, good luck to you, and what four-letter word would you like to try? I would like to try care, C-A-R-E. Care. Sweet man, is it care? It's not care. I'm sorry, but get involved a little bit later on. Once it starts narrowing down, maybe it'll be easier for you. So there you go. Everyone else watching, it's not care. So scratch that four-letter word off, and let's talk to Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Hello. How are you? Good, very good. How are you? 
doing well. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from New York. Well, welcome from New York. Now, Kevin, $200 could be yours with the correct answer. What do you want to try? Let's try cash. Ooh, spell it. C-A-S-H. Cash, something we all know and love and something you want, and we'll win $200 up if you get this right. Sorry, incorrect, it's not cash. Hmm. Let's take a look if it could have been cash. C for lace, A for pass, S for Sam, H for hat. Could have been cash, but that's not the particular four-letter word that we have already pre-selected. That lies inside the Premenia envelope. So, hmm. tell you what. I'm thinking, I'm just thinking, I'm thinking about giving some more money away. Would you guys like that? Yes! You would? Because last time when I doubled the money, somebody just came through and took it all. Do you guys want to win it? Yes! Well, then in order to win it, you got to get involved. But first, I want to tell you what you're going to win. The next person who can get through to me, I'm going to take that $200 and multiply it by two. You're going to be winning $400 again. $400. That is $100 a letter. You're going to win $100 a letter if you get this right. But when we did this last time, somebody came through and won it all. So right now, we're going to do it all over again. Somebody's going to be taking home $400, but you have to get through to me. Now, I am going to very conveniently take a break right now so that I can go put on some lip gloss and so that you can get involved. Start sending in those entries because when I come back, I'm going to select one of you who is playing for $400 right now. That's $100 a letter. So start getting involved and I'll see you right there. A four-letter word right here, $400. We've not selected that lucky play maniac yet, so make sure you still get involved. Ooh, your clone smells good, by the way. Oh, thank you. All right, now I have to say, play maniac, say a prayer for House here because he's going to be trying out tomorrow for what? The Astros. The Astros, Houston Astros, which, wait, that means you'll move to Houston? That's what happened with Houston. Oh, I didn't even yeah. think of that. I was Can't thinking it was in LA. Oh, well, good luck to you. Thank you. I can still beat you up. No, you can <laughs> So could take him. Never underestimate the skinny girl in the yellow dress. All right. Four letter word going down for $400, and we have got Barry on the line. Let's bring him straight through. Hi, Barry. Hi, how are you? I'm doing very well. How are you tonight? I'm great, and I love lingo. Oh, good! We're shooting another episode or another season right now, so I get to spend lots of time with Chuck. But now, what about Playmania? Okay, love that too. I love GSN. Well, we love you, and we're ready to give you lots of cash. So, four-letter word going down. What do you want to try? I'll try T-A-R-P, tarp. Good guess, Barry. Let's have a look. Is it tarp? Oh, I'm sorry, but you know what? You are a pleasure to talk to, so thank you very much. And try to get involved a little bit later on in the show. Okay, so now we heard another answer that was incorrect. Hopefully, you guys are keeping track of those wrong answers. And a little bit, somebody's going to be taking home a lot of cash. Hmm, oh, oh, take a look. The money had to go back down, but it didn't go all the way back down. It was supposed to go back down 200, but it went back down to 300. So now everyone gets to play with a $100 bonus. Now, this should be getting easier. We've heard a lot of wrong answers, so get involved. If you have an answer you haven't heard, that might be the answer and the ticket to win you $300 cash. And we have got Amy on the line right now. Let's bring her through. Hi, Amy. Hi, Sandy. I love your dress tonight. Thank you. I just got it, actually. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, where You're are you welcome. calling from? From Michigan. Oh, all right. Well, welcome to the show. And $300 is on the line. Do you know this four-letter word? Uh, is it more? M-O-R-E? Possibly. Is it more? Oh, it's not. I'm so sorry, but thank you for the compliment. Uh, get involved a little bit later on, because this has got to be getting easier. And we have got Patrick right now, so let's talk to Patrick. Hi, Patrick. Hello. How are you tonight? I'm fine. Where are you calling from? From Philadelphia. From Philadelphia. Now, Patrick, I have, I have good vibes coming toward you. My daddy's name is Patrick, so I'm wishing you all the best of luck. And what is your four-letter word going down? Uh, I'm going to try post, the O-S-T. Possibly. Pat, let's take a look. I'm sorry it's not, Pat. Shucks. Uh, hmm. 
I guess we'll go to Debbie now. She's waiting. We gotta get an answer sometime soon. Three hundred dollars on the line. So Debbie, come on through. Hi, Debbie. Hi. How are you? Fine. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Where are you calling from? Youngstown, Ohio. All righty. Now we need a four-letter word from you to win three hundred dollars. What do you want to try? Nose. N O F E. Oh, is it nose? Not nose, I'm sorry. N O S E. It could have been no. No? Yeah, it could have been nose. But unfortunately, it's not. All right. Hmm. I guess the only way I'm going to be able to get this answer right is if I get more people calling in. And the only way that people can call in is if I raise the money, probably. So I'm going to have to do that, I guess. Drum roll. Come on. How about the next person who comes through? The very next person. Because $300, and then we have to give you three. It's just kind of complicated. So how about I raise it up to, ha ha, no, get this. $500. Ah, $500 right now is what you're playing for. This is half of $1,000 that could be yours if you get this four-letter word correct. This is our highest prize tonight. The most money we will give away so far tonight. Four letters going down for $500. That's $125 a letter. Look at my math skills going into effect. Oh no, it's not that hard. <laughs> but sometimes it can be. All right, so we're looking for this four-letter word. It's got to be getting easier, too, because we've heard a lot of different answers that have been incorrect. So surely this is getting a little bit easier. We've heard a bunch of different answers that were wrong, so hopefully you're kind of crossing those off your list. If you have a four-letter word that you haven't heard yet, that just might be your answer to winning $500 cash right now. Now, right now, we are going to collect some entries that are coming in and then select from those entries that one lucky play maniac. So if you have already entered, but you have not yet gotten through, send out another entry. Uh, if you guys were watching in the beginning of the show, we had someone to come on twice in like five minutes. And I said, what is your deal? How were you able to, to get through so quickly, twice, let alone? And she said that she was aggressive about it, that she put on a lot of entries. Because you have ten entries to use on your cell phone and ten entries to use on your landline to actually call in on the 1-900 number. So technically you have 20 entries to use. Use those up right now. We, ne we just recently, in the past few weeks, just put in the phone line to even make that even easier for you to get through. If you just call 1-900-773-3333, it's that simple. Now, right now we're playing the crossword puzzle, so what we need is this four-letter word going down. It's in red. It's a four-letter word. Once you come up with that four-letter word, all these blue words going across will all make words of their own. For example, like it couldn't be, say, like love, because L, it wouldn't be L-A-L-E. That doesn't make a word. So it has to make words going across as well. And $500 would be yours Jenny, if you get this correct. So we've got an email to check out. And actually, this email couldn't have come at a better time, because now, obviously, pay attention to the emails and the rumors that we're going to start and create. But most importantly, to use this time to put those entries out there. So let's take a look at Lappy, Lappy, from New York. Lappy? Hoping that's a nickname. <laughs> Hi, Shandy. A friend of mine on the West Coast said that uh, Kevin FedEx Fetterline is hooking up with Nicole Ritchie. How scandalicious. Scandalicious. I love that word. Uh, mm, I don't think so, actually. No. Maybe. I don't think I believe that one, though. Mm, mm, no. <laughs> We got Jose in New York. Hey, Shandy, I heard that Gwen Stefani is done with No Doubt, and they're replacing her. All the No Doubt fans are angry and are boycotting her tour. You heard it first here. Yeah, hmm, maybe. I don't know. I believe anything. I'm naive. I'm like the good old girl from Missouri who believes everything. So, mwah, thanks for the emails. Keep them coming. Shandy at GSN.com. Any kind of rumors either you've heard and that you think might be true, you read in a magazine, you're trying to figure out, is this true, is it not, what are your thoughts, or something, heck, you just want to create a whole rumor that you want to start all on your own, send it in to shandy at gsn.com. And actually, it'd even be fun to start some rumors about our crew here. Hmm, think about that. So we got Jonathan, who's in the box. 
who wears the pink um, nylons, Jonathan. pink tights. Yeah, Jonathan. We've got Scott, who wears the lace undies. We have House, who wears lipstick. Wow. I see a theme going on here. And Michael will come up with something for you. Maybe you're secretly attracted to Scott. Ooh. All right, we have got Jesse on the line right now. Let's bring Jesse straight through. Hi, Jesse. Hi. How are you tonight? I'm fine. Where are you calling from? New Jersey. New Jersey. Well, welcome to the show, Jesse from New Jersey. Are you ready? Mostly, are you prepared to win $500? I certainly am. All right, now, Jesse, I have to do it because $500 is a lot of money. I need to get a woohoo out of you. Yahoo! Oh, I love you, Jesse. That was a good one. Now I'm really rooting for you and pulling for you in New Jersey. Four-letter word. What do you got? Uh, T A M E. Spell it again, please. T A M E. Kane. Oh, Kane. Good Kane. guess. Is it Kane or Kane? C A M E. Kane. Kane. Up. C A M E. Oh, C A M E. C A M E. Yeah, K. T. Oh, T. T. T as in Tom? Tame as in Lion. T as in Tom? Okay. Tame. Is it tame? Oh, I'm sorry it's not. <laughs> Woo! That was a tough one. It's like came, no came, no tame. Lordy, lordy, I can't hear. Unfortunately, it's not tame. That is a good guess, though. T for late, A for path, uh, N, M for ma'am, and E for eat. I guess M-A-M doesn't make sense, though. No, ma'am is M-A apostrophe A-M. That's ma'am. So M-A-M doesn't make a word. M-A-M. Whatever. I'm like, I know my English. All right, we got Tina on the line right now. Money had to go down, but it went down to 350, so you still have a little bit of a bonus. And let's bring Tina straight through. Hi, Tina. Hi, Sandy. How are you? I'm doing very well. How are you tonight? We're good. Good. Who are you playing with there? You said we. My husband. Oh, well, hello to the husband. What's his name? It's Harold, and he's, <laughs> he's won before. <gasps> oh, it runs in the family. Let's make you a winner, too, then. Good luck. <laughs> He thinks you're his good luck charm. Oh, well, let's hope I am for Harold. More importantly for you, Tina, I need to be your good luck charm right now. Four-letter okay. word, what do you want to try? I'm going to try tape, T-A-P-E. Tape. Good guess. Is it tape? I'm sorry, Tina and Harold. Get involved later on, though. Might win money then. All right, so we've heard a lot of wrong answers. This should be getting so much easier now. We've heard a lot of different four-letter words that have been incorrect. I have got one particular four-letter word right here that should win you all that cash. $350 worth of that cash. What do you think is in here? If you have Superman see-through vision, what, is it, what do you call it? X-ray vision, right? If you have Superman X-ray vision, you can see this. You could also see me without my dress on. <laughs> All right, we've got Mark on the line right now for $350. Let's bring him straight <coughs> Hi, Mark. Hello. How are you? Uh, I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Where are you calling from? Georgia. Georgia. Well, welcome to the show. And Mark, your four-letter word, what do you want to try? Uh, core. C-O-R-E. Excellent guess. Is it core? Sorry, it's not core. C-O-R-E. Definitely could have been core, but that's not the four-letter word that we are looking for. Hmm. Tell you what. We only have one hour left. Only one hour. That means we're halfway through. So, do you guys want to get crazy? Yes! I'm not talking just like normal, average, one-of-the-mill, shandy crazy. I'm talking... Saturday night, no work tomorrow because it's Sunday, play mania crazy. Yes! All right. Then watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a cartwheel. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Drum roll. 
<laughs> I'm going to take this money, and for the next person who comes through, one next person who comes through, this four-letter word, you ain't going to be winning 350. You're going to be winning $700. We are doubling that money. Went from 350 up to $700 right now is what you're going to win if you get this answer correct and if you're the next person to get through to me. Holy cow. Okay, so now, mathematicians, how much is that a letter? <laughs> the room suddenly got very silent. $75? $175. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> All right, so $175.50 per letter. $175.50, are you sure? Why the 50 cents? No. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so just $175 a letter. Yes, that's right, because that'd be 300 Yes, you're right. $175 a letter. The next person who gets through to me, if you have this four-letter word, that's correct, that we have in this envelope, you're going to be taking home $700 cash tonight. Now, could you imagine right now, Saturday night, winning $700? And we go to work, we slave at the, at the office or wherever we work all day long, all week long. It's the weekend right now. Imagine just playing a game show, sitting on your couch, lying in your bed, wherever you might be where that television is. All you have to do is just pick up the cell phone and text in, pick up your landline and call in. That simple. And you could be taking home $700. Now, I have to say, I absolutely love nights that we give away a lot of cash and somebody comes through and gets it. And my life could not be better. Like, granted, I love giving away the $150, but when we can give away amounts like this, nothing makes you feel better. Because that could be a life-changing amount. Not life-changing, but you could pay your rent, you could buy gifts for people, you could do so much stuff on $700. So go ahead and get involved right now. You have 10 entries. If you text in and 10 entries, if you call in on your, on your landline, whatever you want to do, use up those entries, though. Use them up right now. Now, to call in, you just grab your own phone, the regular phone that's plugged into the wall or whatever you have, and dial 1-900-773-3333. Okay, so 1-800-773-3333. That number will then, you know, tell you whether you may get through or not. You may have to leave a number for us to call you back to then get through. Or you can go ahead and go on to uh, grab your cell phone and text the word PLAY to 77177. Now, also, make sure that if you get a response back that says, sorry, you know, you're unable to uh, get through at this time, please try again. Well, that's what you have to do. You have to actually try again. So make sure you do that. But four-letter word for $700. Sandy, you've got cool. We have an email to check out. Come on, let's check out the email. Some more rumors. Some gossipy rumors. Clark. Hi there. I heard a rumor that Shandy is running for president. Is this true, Fantasy 08? I have to say yes, it is true. No? Hello? You're the queen, not president. Um, oh, oh, and they told me, Clark, you spelled my name wrong and they had to correct it? How did he spell it? Oh, it's just one end. Oh, that's not so bad. They might spell the name all wrong in the beginning. All right, Jim. Shandy, I heard that Howard Stern is going to get married to his girlfriend, Beth uh, Ostrowski, and I thought that if they were going to have a kid, it might look something like this. What do you think? Oh, I love these. <laughs> Let's take a look. Ah, uh, damn you guys sending that dog picture in again. You think you're funny. You know, we were actually just talking about this the other day, and this dog is alive. I thought it was like a stuffed dog. Oh, he's dead now, but in this picture, he's alive. And he was loved by somebody. He was really loved by somebody. I love him, too. He still needs love. All ugly animals need love. All right, well, thanks for that lovely picture again. My, I love my play maniacs. Thanks for the emails. Mwah! Keep them coming, Shandy at gsn.com. And now time for my rumor. You guys want to know my rumor? Well, I heard, I heard that Mel Peachy from London is starting a new show on Tuesday, the same time as Playmania, and it's called 
one versus 100. Or no, 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 not one versus 100. 100 winners. <laughs> one versus 100 is already show. It's called 100 winners. Is that true? I don't know. You guys will have to tune in on Tuesday to see if it's true or not. Mel Peachy doing a new show. Possibly. 100 winners. Could be. All right. Now. <laughs> $700 on the line right now for this four-letter word going down that I have in this envelope right here. If you happen to know this four-letter word, then get through to me because $700 could be coming your way before you know it. And how nice it would be to go to bed tonight. Maybe you're out with friends. Maybe you were seeing your family. Maybe you just had a quiet night to yourself, watch some TV, watching Playmania now. Whatever it might be. Imagine now going to bed tonight, you know, being like, hmm, getting up tomorrow, maybe going to church, moseying around, $700 richer. Pretty nice. I'll tell you what, we've selected that person. It's Dave. Let's bring him straight through. Hi, Dave. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing all right. Now, wait, first of all, where are you calling from? Uh, Chicago Ridge, Illinois. Oh, well, welcome to the show. Seven hundred dollars could be yours. I know. Now, what would you spend it on if you won that? I would pay bills. Smart man, smart man. We're rooting for you. But of course, it's a little big amount of money. I gotta get the woohoo out of you. Right. Well, can I get it? Like a woo! <laughs> wow, well, that was decent. All right, <laughs> Dave. Good luck. Four letters. What do you want to try? Uh, Kane. C A N E. Okay, just so I get it right, so C is in cat, A, N is in Nancy, E? Right. Is that it? It's not Dave, I'm sorry. Money's got to go down. 375. Hey, N-A-M, does that make a word? Nam? Yeah. Nam doesn't even make a word, Dave. What are you doing? Money's got to go back down, but you still have, yeah, Vietnam, but we're not... Anyway, gosh, Jonathan, I tell you, 375 is online right now, and we have got Terry waiting. Let's bring Terry straight through. Hi, Terry. Hi. How are you? <laughs> nervous. Oh, are you? Don't be nervous. This is my first time. Oh, well, welcome to the show, Terry. Where are you calling from? From Florida, Plant City, Florida. Oh, is it nice and warm down there? It's in the 40s. Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah. Why? It just is, but it's getting up in the 60s in the afternoon. Oh, no. Well, it's nice and warm out here right now. All right. Good luck to you. Four-letter word. What do you want to try? Zero. Z-E-R-O. Ooh. Is it zero? Oh, it's not. But you know what? That was such a great guess. We haven't heard anything even close to that. Z for Lay's... Um, Oh, but they're telling me Lay's isn't a word. I think Lay's is a word. They're telling me Lay's. I think Lay's is a word. After all, I do do lingo. I am the judge on that. Um, that is, and then E for pest, and then R for ram, and O for oak. That definitely could have been it, but it's not the one we're looking for. But tell you what, I want to get rid of this and play another game and move past this money, so I'm going to go ahead and ask our lovely Jonathan to give us a clue. So pay attention right here where my hand is. Ooh, jazz fingers, jazz fingers. All right, <laughs> pay attention. There it is. Oh, there's your four letter word. It's just out of order. Put it back in the correct order, the letters in the correct spacing. You could win $375. You've got the letters D-A-M-E, but you've got to put them in a four letter word that makes sense going across. For example, would the D go here, would the A go here, would the M go here, or would the E go here? Do that going all the way down, make that four-letter word, and then get through to me, and $375 could be yours. But I am going to take a little bit of a break, so you can work out that anagram, and then you can send in those entries and get through to me. When I come back, we'll be playing for $375. See you in a second. Mania, we have just under our hour left. How come both my cameras are on? No, that one's not on. This one's on. Scott's like, my camera's on. This camera's on. But somehow both lights are on. Uh, what an interesting moment right now I'm having. Now, during the break, I have to say, Scott was pretending to be a ballerina, and I was putting my head on his, or my finger on his head, and he was spinning around like a ballerina doing this. 
And I think that he got a little dizzy. I think he spun too much. But Scott, yeah, you, you're you're just odd. Okay. Anyhow, back in my world. Oh, and, and I left my card. Okay, no, I have my card. <laughs> that was a crazy commercial break. Now, $375, and we have a clue right here. So work out that anagram and then get through to me because $375 could be yours. But also, want to let you guys know that tomorrow at 8 o'clock on GSN, you can check out the Insider's Guide to Winning Game Show Millions. It's a really cool special all about how those experts get in there and they're able to kind of cheat the system and win all this money. So go ahead and check that out. Just basically turn on GSN an hour before I'm on. But then again, your channel, channel should always be on GSN, so I don't know. 8 o'clock and then I'll be back at 9 with Play Mania. Right now, we have got Chris on the line ready to come back cash. Let's bring him through. You are so funny, Scott. Hi, Chris. Hi, Sandy. How are you? I'm um, good. Where are you calling from? New Jersey. Well, welcome to the show. $375 on the line. Do you know this answer? Yes, I do. Can I give a shout-out first? Sure. To everybody in the Playmania chat room? Oh, well, hello to everyone in the Playmania chat room. All right. Now, what answer do you think this is? Made. M-A-D-E. I think you're right. Is it it? And stay on the line for us while we get your information from you. Um, now this light is off and that light's on. We've got, okay, it's a live show. Just let you guys, well, let's bring on the game. And then I'll tell you guys about some fun behind the scenes stuff. So if you want to enter this new game, come in those entries again. It's Twisted Title. We've taken the title of something. We've put a spin on it. Now it says Delinquent Young Gentleman. What is the real title supposed to say? Now, so that you guys know a little bit behind the scenes, whenever you're looking at a camera, when that camera's on you, it has a light that goes on. That's the way you know which one to look at. For some reason, though, these lights are the opposite, where now if I'm looking, the camera goes off, and it goes off on the other one. Look at all kinds of stuff. But this is live TV, so that's what you do. So that's why Scott was like, Shandy, you're supposed to be on my camera at the beginning. And I was like, oh, no, I'm on this one. So anyway, a little uh, inside information for you. Twisted title, we have Delinquent Young Gentleman. Now, it's a title of something. It could be a song, a movie, a play, a book. It's a title of something, and we put a twist on it. We put a little spin on it. We basically use synonyms to describe what the title already said. So what are synonyms for this that get back to that original title that we had? For $200 cash. Delinquent Young Gentleman. You guys know this? You guys do? Yeah. You guys kind of look like brothers, actually. Wow. House and Scott. You guys saw House earlier. He and Scott look like brothers a little bit. Weird. Maybe there's another rumor out there. Maybe your dad's was the same person. Possibly. Think about it. Scott, was your dad by any chance like a postal service man or a milk man or... No? Hmm. What about yours, House? No? Hmm. Interesting. All right, well, speaking of rumors, we want to hear about those. Send them in to Shandy at GSN.com. If you have a rumor of something that's going on with the celebrity world, the Silverays we all know and love, if you have some sort of rumor that either you think might have happened, you read it in a gossip magazine, your friend told you, or heck, just a rumor you'll want to create. One that you just want to start right here on Playmania. Send them in to shandy at gsn.com. And we'll get all good and gossipy. Isn't gossip wonderful? Men don't like gossip, though. Why is that? Women, oh, we eat it up. Like, oh, my gosh, if we're at a wedding, we all, like, hunch together like little crows. Like, ah, oh, look at that little girl's dress over there. We do live on it. Why don't you guys? You guys are like... Oh, like when I get in a gossiping mode, all my guy friends are like, oh, whatever. And they walk away. I'm like, no, come here. I want to talk to you. And as you guys know, the reason we started this whole rumors on our emails today on Shandy at, GS, uh, Shandy at GSN.com is because uh, Britney Spears shaved her head today. It was a rumor, but then the pictures came out. She done and Sinead O'Connor herself. All gone. And I'm just hoping at least, at the very least, she donated to Locks of Love. <laughs> We don't know. All right. Twisted title, $200, and we have got Amy on the line. 
Oh, no, we don't. We have Eddie on the line. Let's bring Eddie through. Hi, Eddie. Hi. How are you? Fine. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Where are you calling from? Uh, Wilmington, North Carolina. Well, welcome to the show. Are you having a good Saturday night? Yes, I am. Good. Let's make it $200 better when you give me this answer. What do you think it is? I wish I could. I've been trying to get through it. I don't... I don't uh, uh, I just can't think. Of oh, no, I, 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 Eddie. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. So You've got three through. seconds gonna, on the clock. I'm just going to say... Uh, um, Quickly something. One second. Cuban, uh, uh, sorry, Eddie. We lost you. <sighs> Let's all have a moment of silence for Eddie. Unfortunately, Eddie didn't have an answer, but... In honor of you, Eddie, I'm going to let everyone else benefit. Drum roll, please. I'm going to move this from $200 up to $250. So everyone is going to benefit because of your full pot, Eddie. Uh, $250. Oh, money, more money. That is right, Jonathan. That is what we're giving away. More money. Now, twisted title, delinquent young gentleman. You guys know this, you said? Mouth it to me. now that you told me. It's kind of hard, but then they just told me, I'm like, oh, so easy, so obvious. So this actually is a really obvious answer, if you know it. Um, gosh, this is really easy. Think very, very simple. Don't think too hard. Don't think about some, like, really crazy title. Think very simple. Simple, 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 and you will know this. $250 will be yours. Oh, this is so good. Do you know it yet, Mike? Yeah. Did you know it only because they told you, or did you come up with it on your own? Oh, they told them. Who came up with it first out of you two? Yeah, house. That's what I think. Yeah. Yeah, because Scott sometimes doesn't even know what show he's on. Well, I'll be like, oh, play Mania. See, if you ever get lost, just look right here, Scott. Just look. You play Mania. <laughs> All right. $250. We don't have anybody. We have nobody that wants to take this. We want to play another game. I gave you $250, and we have nobody who wants to play this. Nobody at all. So if you want to play, if you think you have an idea for this delinquent young gentleman, then start sending in entries. Send in more than one. Send in uh, maybe three to just guarantee that you can actually get a spot and come through. Oh, and we have somebody. It's Kim. Let's bring Kim straight through. Hi, Kim. Hi. How are you tonight? I am good. Where are you calling from? From Indianapolis. Well, welcome to the show, Kim. $250 if you know this twisted title. What do you think it is? You know, I don't know if I'm sure. Lawbreaker? Lawbreaker? Is that it? Or Lawbreaker? Lawbreaker? Yeah, Lawbreaker. Is that it? It's not. I'm sorry. It's actually such an easiest, obvious answer that you're going to kick yourself when you hear it. It's that easy. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to give away more money. Do you guys want more money? Yes. All right, because I was thinking I think it's some more. So drum roll, please. For the next person who comes through, I'm going to take this money. And I'm going to give you $100 bonus. <laughs> so the next person who comes through to me is playing for $350 right now, the very next person who comes through. So if you want to be that person to win that cash, if you think you know this answer, then now is the time to get involved, to send out those entries, to get through to me, give me this answer, and take home all that cash right now. This is a lot of cash for you to be winning, $350, and we don't really have many people that want to play for some reason on this game. It's Delinquent Young Gentleman. It's a twisted title. It's for $350. But since we don't really, we've heard two wrong answers. It should be really easy. You guys should be getting involved. So I'm going to go ahead and take a break to give you that time to get involved. Maybe you need that time. You use more than one entry. You've got three ways to get involved. You want all here in the black box. Use them up. Get involved. When we come back, the next person that I talk to is going to be playing Twisted Title for $350 right now. So get involved, and I will see you back in just a minute. Welcome back to Play Mania. We have just over 30 minutes left, and today's show has kind of flown by. Maybe it's because I haven't been here in so long. But it just seemed to have fly, flown by for me. Maybe it's because I'm shooting lingo right now, and we shoot five episodes a day, so it shoots so much longer. 
Maybe that's what it is. But today's just flown by. I feel like we don't have much time to give away all this money. Mm -hmm. Five episodes a day, but they, they crack off really quick. Scott's like, really? I think Scott just woke up. All right, delinquent young gentleman, $350 right now. Uh, and we have our first person who's uh, going for the $350 is Edward. Let's bring him straight through. Hi, Edward. Hello. How are you? Good. Where are you calling from? Harvard, Massachusetts. Well, welcome to the show, Edward. $350 could be yours if you know this answer. What do you want to try? I'm going to say uh, grumpy old men. Oh, uh, grumpy old men? No. And you know what was a clue on that is old men. This says young men or young gentlemen, so old men wouldn't make, make any sense. We're looking for something like if it's a young gentleman, what could that be? It could be an adolescent. It could be a teenager. It could be a boy. It could be, you know, we're looking for a young gentleman. And then, what's another word for delinquent? Think along the lines. Another word for delinquent, another word for young gentlemen. That's the train of thought you've got to go on. So it couldn't have been grumpy old men, even though that was a fabulous movie. Didn't you guys love that movie? I love old men. I love, like, any, anyone who could be like my grandpa. I just, they're so charming. All right, so the price has gone down, but it's down to $300 right now. $300 if you can come up with this title. Think. As Jonathan says, think synonyms, okay? So the opposite, or not the opposite, I'm sorry, the same word, delinquent. Think of another word, delinquent, and then young gentleman. I know that the last caller just said grumpy old men. It couldn't have been grumpy old men because old men isn't another term for young gentlemen. Does that make sense? Now, if you really think that you know this and you think people are coming answering, how do they not have the answer? Well, then you are the one who should be getting involved. Don't be, like, making fun of my callers for not having the right answer if you're not getting involved. You have to start setting those entries in. If you don't like to text because it's kind of a new thing and it's a little bit weird to do if you're not used to texting, then go ahead and just call in. We've made it that much easier for you. Just grab your phone. Uh, that's your landline, the one that's actually plugged into the wall, and call 1-900-773-3333. Now, if you're thinking like, well, of course my phone's plugged in, the reason I say that is because you can't dial the 1-900 number from your cell phone. You cannot call from your cell phone. It has to be from the landline. Okay, so if you are in a college dorm room and you only have cell phones, then all you can do is text in. But if you're at home with your frat family or whatnot, then you can actually pick up the landline. We want to get rid of this. It is $300 right now for delinquent young gentlemen. And we have somebody. It's Gayla. Let's bring her through. Hi, Gayla. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm doing very well. Where are you calling from? California. Rodale, California. All right. Well, welcome to the show. $300 could be yours. For some reason, we can't get rid of this answer. Do you think you know what it is? I think so. What do you think? Juvenile. Juveniles? Is it yeah. juveniles? No, Gayla, I'm sorry, that's not it. I'm just, you know what though, I bet if Scott and, and House did not give me the answer, I bet this would be a little bit more difficult for me. But because they gave me the answer, this just seems so obvious to me. What you have to do, <laughs> start with young gentlemen, okay? What's another word for young gentlemen? Now it's a title, okay? So we're looking for the title of something. Like a movie? Ha ha ha. A book, a song, something, a title of something. So what's another, what's another word for young gentleman? And what's another word for delinquent? That's a title. But I need you guys to get involved. I want to move past this. The only way I can move past it is get you involved, get you texting in, get you calling in. The only way you're going to do that is if I raise that money. So let's get a drum roll and for the next person who comes through you're not playing for three hundred dollars you're gonna be playing with the bonus mm -hmm. you want to know what that bonus is it's gonna be a hundred and fifty dollar bonus you're playing for four hundred dollars and fifty four hundred dollars fifty cents sandwich four hundred and fifty dollars right now is what you're playing for four hundred and fifty dollars could be yours if you know this twisted title start sending those entries in if you have not sent any in send them in now as a matter of fact if you just got home let's say you're out with some friends tonight and you just walked in the door and sat down and grabbed a bottle of water and turned on the television and hello here we are well then you are actually in luck i'll tell you why because you have all those entries to use 
You haven't used a single entry. You have all of them to use up right now, so start taking advantage of that. And this should be really, really easy. And I maybe, maybe I'm only thinking it's so easy because Scott told me the answer. And he told me the answer, and I was like, oh, yeah, it's very easy. The think young gentleman, like, what's another term for that? Because what we've done is we've taken the title of something. It could be a movie, a book, a song, a play. We took the title of something, and we twisted it. We put in a spin on it. Let's twist the title. It's this easy, and it's for $450 right now. Now, I have to say, what time is it right now? Do you guys know? Everyone's like, no time on the <laughs> and you're watching me. It's 10.35 right now, which means we have 25 minutes left in the game. Okay, 10.35 right here, which would be 1.35 in New York. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, on the East Coast. So we have 25 minutes less left in the game right now. So if you want to play, you only have 25 minutes left to win this cash and prizes. And for $450 right now, I'd be getting involved if I were you. So we're going to check out an email real quick on some nasty rumors. We'll be back on the game in just a minute. So send in those entries while we look at Marina in Seattle, Washington. Hi, Shandy. I have a juicy celebrity rumor for you. I heard that William Hung from American Idol, she bangs, she bangs, guy, died from a drug overdose. <gasps> no. But this is the kind of stuff that I believe. You guys remember him? He was one of like, she bang, she bang, ooh, baby. She was hilarious. Matter of fact, come on out here, house. <laughs> I love putting people on the spot, and I'm going to put you on the spot. Do you like to get crazy? Do I like to get yeah. Sometimes. Okay, can you imitate him? Uh, William Hung? William Hung. She bangs, she bangs! <laughs> Hi, bud. Good job. All right, now that's only funny if this rumor's not true, by the way, and we hope this rumor's not true. All right, one more. Oh, House, come here. They want you to come back. I don't know why. Because of this? Uh, hi, Shandy. Am I supposed to read this? Hi, Shandy. I have heard that Shandy and House were boyfriend and girlfriend. Is that true or false? Oh, good Lord. I heard that it was true. My friend says it's false, but he lies all the time. I'm wearing flats right now, okay? In heels, I'd be like that. He'd be like... He'd have a nice place to put his head, though, right? All right. No. <laughs> Thanks for the email, though. Mwah! Keep them coming. Shandy at GSN.com. They're all cracking up in my ears on how tall I got. All right, so twisted title. You've got delinquent young gentleman, and it's for $450 right now. If you get this right, Jonathan says he's jealous. Jonathan, you have places to rest your head back there. Put it on your computer. Put it on your laptop. All right, so who wants this for this twisted title right now? We've taken the title of something, and we've put in a spin on it. We've used synonyms to describe a title that we already know. If you can figure that out, $450 will be yours right now for the next caller that we bring through only. And it's AJ, let's speak with AJ. Hi AJ. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing well, how are you? Pretty good. Where are you calling from? Uh, New Jersey. New Jersey, well welcome to the show AJ. $450 could be yours with this correct answer. What do you think it is? Bad boys. Oh, I love you, AJ. Is that it? Of course that's it. Thank you, AJ, for coming in and saving the day, letting us move past. So it was bad boys. Get it? Delinquent, bad boys, which was young gentlemen. So delinquent young gentlemen, bad boys. How easy it was. Once you actually know the answer, it's like so easy. All right, new game is going to pop up, and if you want to play that new game, then you got to get involved again. We only have a few minutes left in the show, so if you want to play, start using up those entries. There is not much time left. So, let's have a look at what game we're going to play for the last 20 minutes left in our show. And when you see it, that is your cue to get involved. Top five TV catchphrases. Woo! Now, top fives are fun and fun. Ooh, I just had a moment. Look how high that money is. I'll up to $300 right now. So what you got to do, get through to me, and I'm going to ask you for a catchphrase. Okay? Your answer can appear anywhere up here, anywhere in the top five. You'll win anywhere from $150 all the way up to $300. If you know this correctly, now what 
You basically have to think of a catchphrase from a TV show. Like any kind of TV show, something that is said often. Um, oh, I got a good one. What is it? Uh, oh, I got it. Thank you. Haha, <laughs> I have a good one. And I'm going to, since, I don't know if you guys noticed, but our bar has got... Oh, did you guys see my answer? Did you see my answer? No? Yes, set this right here. There. That works just fine. <laughs> All right. Now, what we are going to do, basically, I wrote down an answer, too. So we're looking for something from a TV show that's kind of like a little catchphrase, something that's said often in a different TV show. So think of different TV shows, maybe cartoons, sitcoms, things like that. You come through, you give me a catchphrase. If it appears anywhere up here, you went anywhere between $150 all the way up to $300 cash. Then if you guess my answer, you win $50 cash. So let's say my answer's up here. You win $300. Let's say my answer's up there too. That's $350 then. So go ahead and get involved. Start sending in those entries. Now, I'm not sure why everyone's laughing. What happened? I don't know. All right, we only have 20 minutes left of the game, so we are going to whip through this game quickly. Somebody's going to be winning $300 on this. My answer's up there as well. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we are going to start playing the top five TV catchphrase games. Now, we need six answers on this, so send in all those, all those entries, and when we come back, Cindy's going to be being a big winner. I'm really confused right now. I'll see you guys back in just a second. I am. Come back to Play Mania. We only have 20 minutes left of fun, of cash prizes, but fortunately, that's just enough time for you to win some big bucks. We're going to have to whip through the so get involved as quickly as you can. Top five, TV, catch, phrase is what we're looking for. Now, I have written an answer down to a really good answer. Um, and if nobody gets mine, I can show them a clue, because I have a clue here on set for mine. Now, $150 all the way up to $300 right now. Now, after we go off air in about 20 minutes, Street Smarts will be coming up. So make sure you stay tuned for that as well. But we are going to get through this very, very quickly. We've got our first person on the line. It's Martin. Let's bring Martin through. Hi, Martin. Hey, how are you tonight? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm oh, doing great. Sounds like you're doing great. Martin, what is your answer? Uh, no, for the Simpsons. Oh, dope? Yeah. Dope. Is it up there? Ah, Martin, $250 is yours. All right, stay on the line while we get your information. That's how you play this game. It is that easy. It's a survey. Very popular answers. We've gone out. We've asked people, just like you at home, for uh, one of the top five TV catchphrases. You'll win anywhere from $150 up to $300. We have one answer so far, and we've got Samuel on the line. Let's bring Samuel straight through. Hi, Samuel. Hi, Sony. How are you? Um, I'm doing pretty good. Good. Where are you um, calling? I'd like to give a shout. Oh, I'm calling from Tennessee. Okay. What I'd like to give a shout out to my wife. Oh, what's your we wife's name? We watch your name? show all the time. What's her name? Um, Jennifer. Jennifer. Well, hello, Jennifer. Now, good luck to you. Three hundred dollars on the line. A TV catchphrase. Did I do that? Did I do from that? Urkel. Oh, from oh, did I do that? Oh, good one. Is that up there? Oh, it's not, but that's a good one. You have those suspenders. You're like, can I do that? <laughs> I loved Urkel. You know, Urkel actually turned out to be pretty handsome when he grew well, well, not when he grew up, but I guess when he wasn't all dorked out on the show. All right, next person. We're going through these quickly, so if you want to play, get involved. We've got Andy on the line. Let's bring him through. Oh, Amy. We have Amy on the line. Let's bring him through. Hi, Amy. Hi. How are you? Fine, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Where are you calling from? Michigan. Welcome to the show, and what is your TV catchphrase? You are the weakest link. <gasps> you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Is it up there? Oh, it's not up there. That's a good one, though. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. All right, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some money. It's Saturday night. We've got 15 minutes, and I'm getting crazy. So we're going to add some money. Drum roll, please. I'm going to add $25 to each one. $25 onto each 
one of those answers. So 175 all the way up to 325 right now for every person who gets involved playing for more money. More money, 175 to 325 for a TV catchphrase. So far we have the O from The Simpsons. I love uh, Homer Simpson. Wouldn't it be great to be a cartoon? You would never get old. You would never die. You can eat all the food you want. But if you were drawn ugly, then you'd be ugly the rest of your life. Like Homer Simpson, he's drawn with like two pieces of hair. You only have two pieces of hair the rest of your life. That's it. Two pieces of hair. Wow. All right. Now, don't we've got four more answers up here. We have my answer as well. We're looking for a TV catchphrase. So think of a TV show and think of a very popular catchphrase that's on it. Then get through to me, possibly take home all that cash. Now also, we have about 15 minutes left in the show, so that should be enough time to also have some more rumors. Now also, stay tuned after the show for Street Smarts, which will be coming up right after us. Uh, and now we have somebody waiting for us to play, I believe. It's Danny. Let's bring Danny through. Hi, Danny. Hi. How are you? I'm all right. Where are you calling from, Danny? Uh, West Palm Beach, Florida. West Palm Beach, Florida. Well, welcome to the show. And what is your TV catchphrase? Uh, deal or no deal. Oh, good one. Deal or no deal. Is it up there? It's not. That's good, though. And he always, like, I would just be like, hey, deal or no deal? And he's like, deal or no deal? And actually, I do that all the time with my friends. Stuff. I'm like, well, what do you want to do? Do you want to go to such and such place tonight? Deal or no deal? I actually say that a lot. That's a good one, but unfortunately, it's not up there. Now, we only have 15 minutes, and we have a lot of prizes to go through. So hopefully, you guys are getting involved, because we're going to be talking to a lot of people and giving away all this money. All right, and you know what? I'm just going to move through this very quickly, and I'm going to go ahead and ask Jonathan for a clue. Give us a clue right now. Yeah. Clue! Ah, uh, clue is my former boss, Donald Trump. So think of the... Come over. And what is this catchphrase? Now, the clue is to think of Donald Trump and what is a very popular catchphrase from perhaps one of his TV shows. Give that some thought. Now, if you don't want to play with that one, you can also think of another answer. You can think of something else other than, oh, from The Simpsons. But we got to go through this quickly because we only have like 15 minutes left. So if you have any entries left whatsoever and you want to come through to me live here in the studio, talk to me, win some cash with that correct answer, now is the time to start using up those entries as quickly as you can. There are three ways to enter right down here in the black box. Now, if you have run out of your entries, well, then either steal your friend's cell phone and use his, or maybe even call a buddy and be like, hey, listen, can you text in this number for me? Have your friend go ahead and do it, and they can always put your number down then, you know how it works, and then they can call you and such and such. Of course, then you have to split the money. But, I mean, $350 right now, that's a lot of money. We've got Stephanie on the line right now. Let's bring her straight through. Hi, Stephanie. Hi. How are you? Good. Stephanie, what catchphrase would you like to try? You're fired. You're fired. Is it up there? It is for $175. Congratulations, Stephanie. And stay on the line first while we get your information. I love that. And he's like, you're fired. And he squints his eyes and then pushes his lips out. Somebody, yeah, some, yeah, somebody's going to the boardroom and somebody's going to be fired. He tried to copyright, you're fired. Did you know that? I did. Didn't work, obviously. All right. You guys want more money? Yes. Drum roll, please. To each of the remaining scores that are left unanswered, I'm going to be adding on one, two, five dollars. Meaning that top prize is going for three fifty now. So think of TV catchphrases. Now I still have my answer down as well. That's worth fifty dollars. We only have two answers so far. You're fired and oh. And we still have time left in the game. We've got to give away all these answers. There's only 10 minutes left. We've got to work through this, but we need your help. We've got Steven on the line right now. Let's bring him straight through. Hi, Steven. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. What is your answer? 
My answer is booyah. Booyah. What's it from? Uh, sports Center. Sports? Oh, really? Wow, I use that a lot. I didn't know that I was so sports athletic. This, uh, whatever. <laughs> is that booyah? It's not, unfortunately. I use that term a lot. And it's from Sports Center? Wow, who to thunk? Hmm. All right, keep your eyes out. I'm going to ask for another clue right here. Jazz fingers. Ooh, jazz fingers. Right here. Ooh, the price is right. Oh, I used to love when I would fake sick as a kid and I'd get to stay home and eat, like, snacks and my mom would put on the prices right for me. And I would always be like, I would always practice, like, if they called me and I'd be like, woo, and, they, and then I'd come down and give everybody high fives. I always practice that. So, what is a catchphrase from The Price is Right? Give it some thought. Bob Barker and his skinny little microphone. It isn't his microphone, so, and he just holds it with his fingertips. And it's like the little little ball on the top. Oh, why? Why is it so skinny? Why? Why does he have that microphone? Oh, Mike just told me that was sweet as this. Mike just told me that Bob Barker, you know how he keeps that little skinny microphone, and I, I made a comment that he still has that little skinny microphone. He says, "Well, you know why, right?" And I said, "No." And he said. He kept that little skinny microphone because it's like a hardwire mic that they don't use anymore, but he kept it so that the man who was running it would keep his job so that he wasn't out of a job. Isn't that sweet? Aww. I love Bob Barker, and he spays and neuters pets. Who doesn't love him? Spay and neuter pets and to keep people in the job. I love you, Bob Barker. All right, so there's your clue. The price is right. So think of a catchphrase from that. And then you can win anywhere from 220.50. And we've got Bill on the line. Let's bring him straight through. Hi, Bill. Hello, Shandy. How are you? I'm doing good. Good. Bill, what is your answer here? Um, is it final answer? <gasps> is that your final answer? Is it up there? Ah, it is! $250. Congratulations to you. Stay on the line first while we get your information. Yay, he didn't even use the clue. The clue is still there. But that's a good one. Regis Philbin, is that your final answer? I could do that. All right. So that is now taken. We still have this clue. The price is right. And you know what? Hmm. I think I might give you a chance of winning, huh, what, $575. You might be like, 500 What? Why? Ooh, you want to know why? Drum roll. Because the next person who comes through is going to be getting double guesses. You get two guesses, and you got the clue. You got the gosh darn it clue right there, and you get two guesses. So let's say your clue gives you this money. Your next answer wins you that money. We've only got six minutes left. That's it. And you could possibly be winning $575 right now if you get these both right. Think of the clue from The Price is Right, okay? Bob Barker with that skinny little microphone. What does he say? What's something that he constantly says on that show? Actually, he doesn't say it, does it? You're right. It's that voice. You're like, and the next contestant on The Price is Right. And then he announces it. And then what does he say after it? So it's the announcer. And the announcer, didn't he wear, like, like really flamboyant colors and sparkles? He died. And he had gray hair. He, he passed away, though. Now he's a little angel. <laughs> All right. 225 or 350, possibly even both, if you happen to know this answer right now. We've got the clue right down here. Yee! We only have like five minutes left in the show, too. We only have a little bit of time. But I have to say, tonight's show was fun. We got to talk about all kinds of rumors going on. We got to make some up. We got to find out the truth behind Scott and those pink lace panties that he wears. <laughs> He goes, and it was Jonathan. Mm, I don't know. I saw you. He bent over, and I saw it sticking out of the top, and I was like, Scott, what is that? And he was like, oh, I got embarrassed and pulled him up real quick. All right, we got Patty on the line. Let's bring her through. She's got two guesses. Let's bring her right through. Hi, Patty. Hi. How are you? Oh, pretty good. Good. Patty, you've got two guesses coming at you. What is your first one? Oh, uh, come on down. Come on down. You are the next contestant on The Price is Right. $245 is yours. Congratulations. 
and oh, you wow. have a chance for three fifty on top of it if you know the next answer. Mm, okay, they took a couple of my answers there. <laughs> okay. um, Think of something different. Three hundred and fifty, and you've got three seconds. This is uh, from TV. Yes, from TV shows. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, good one. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I can hear you, Patty. Oh, good one, good one. Can you hear me now? <laughs> oh, it's not up there. That was a good one, though. You caught me on that. $225, that was yours, so stand on the line for us, and congratulations. Come here, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? All right, I'm going to tell you guys what. I'm going to get more money and give you a clue, okay? So before you even see the amount of money, before you even see the clue, start getting involved right now. First... We'll start with uh, the clue. We'll start with the clue, actually. Jonathan, give us a clue on top of the jazz fingers. There is your clue. It's from Different Strokes. Now, Different Strokes was kind of a ways back, so think back there. Then, ready for more money. Drum roll, please. If you're not playing for $350, you will be playing for $400. Woo! $400 right now is what you wait, and you've got a clue going, too. Now, we only have three minutes left, three and a half minutes left in the entire show. So get involved right now. You'll be winning $400, and you are playing with a clue. So if you remember the old show a long time ago, Different Strokes, what's something that was said on there quite Sandy, often? you got mail. And people still kind of make little jokes about that saying, even. We're going to check an email, and this email could not have come at a better time. So start sending those entries in while I take a look at Irish from Jersey. Shandy, I heard that Jonathan is my man. I really need a man, and I heard that he is willing to come to Jersey and have some fun. I will treat him really, really good. I hope that he is single. Oh. Well, Irish, you're in luck. He is single, and he is heading to Jersey right after this show. So get ready and get some pink tights, because that's what he likes. Yeah. Jim in Michigan. Hey, Shandy, the word on the street is that Mel has a new man in her life. I'll give you a hint. His name is Jim, and he's from Michigan. <gasps> I heard the same thing, actually. Wow. Do we have a picture? You know, I heard that's true. <laughs> that's actually... <laughs> Everyone here is cracking up. This actually looks really good. That is so funny. But... It's kind of sad because who, do the full screen so everyone can see. There you go. And the sad thing is, who was that poor girl that you cut the head off on and stuck Mel on? <laughs> so there is Mel and her boyfriend, everybody. Mel and Jim. Thanks for the emails. <laughs> They're probably over now, but I again will be back tomorrow. Same time, same place, right here on GSN, the network for games. So if you are unable to get on tonight and win some cash and... Be on with us. I will be on again tomorrow night to help you win that money. And we'll also have more fun emails. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. Now, also, on Tuesday, I said there might be a rumor out there about Mel doing a new show. Same time as Playmania, but called 100 Winners. So, you stay tuned on Tuesday. See if that's true or not. $400 right now, top five TV cash or TV catchphrases. $400 is yours, and we got the clue right down here. Now, once we do say goodnight, farewell, goodbye, peace out, my brothers, my homies at home, uh, I want to let you guys know that coming up next is Street Smart. So if you want to stay tuned and watch Street Smart, it's a fun show. You get to laugh at people's uh, like funny answers. But right now, we've got Crystal on the line. Let's bring her straight through. Hi. How are you tonight? Good. Good. All right. $400 and you got a clue. What do you want to try? What you talking about, Willis? What you talking about, Willis? What you talking about? It's a fair $400 is yours. Congratulations. And mine, which nobody guessed. Chuck Wallery. I'll be back in two and two. Nobody guessed that. All right, guys. Thank you so much for a wonderful night. I have loved it, and the time flew by. I love being back with you guys. I will be back again tomorrow, same time, same place, with fun cash prizes. So have a great night. Whatever you're doing tomorrow, if you're going to church, relaxing in, have a wonderful day. God bless you.